trying to get the boundaries of that uncertainty clear for people is important. But you know, the other thing that's different is that as a scientist, when you get evidence that changes your mind, because it's now given you new information, that is an exciting part of scientific progress. For a politician, that feels like a U-turn. Or for the media, that often feels like a U-turn. And that, that's a very interesting distinction that's important to, to try and communicate yes. effectively to politicians. It's yeah. not a U-turn. This is new evidence that gives you a new position. This is the way we progress, the yes. way we learn. <laughs> Another problem, of course, is this whole idea of oh. the science. Uh, it, I mean, it's convenient for governments to feed into this idea that scientists can deliver <laughs> the science as some sort of absolute truth, a collection of facts. <laughs> Because then it gives the politicians decisions. What they're saying isn't the way many scientists were. Scientists have egos, just like politicians. Scientists are dogmatic. Some are downright unethical. Open to progress. Thriving in a... In a <laughs> Uncertainty. So, I don't know. know. Uh, the pharmaceutical industry wouldn't be the way it is without their dogmatism. Some of them, oh. not these two necessarily, but who knows? It's X. That's not science. What would you say? 